I'm unable to actually click this button to run our registration workflow. But if I was to now select our recapture form and that is to validate, I will now have the option to click this button and our registration workflow will run. Hello, my name is Lachlan Kirkwood and today I'll be teaching you how to integrate a recapture form into your own Bubble application. Let's open up a Bubble editor and I can start walking you through the process. Over in my Bubble editor, for the sake of our tutorial today, I've just created a dummy user registration page that users will need to go through in order to register an account within my application. What I would like to do on this page though is just add in a recapture form above our registration button just to ensure that users have in fact verified that they are an actual person before they can then register an account in our application. And in order to kickstart the process of adding our recapture form in, we're first just going to need to install the free recapture plugin. So if we head over to our plugins tab here, we'll just need to open up our plugin library and type in the word recapture. And from here, we'll just be installing the recapture plugin that's built by Bubble, which is of course free, as I mentioned. So I'll just choose to install that plugin. I can then close our plugin library. And now on the actual plugin settings, what you'll notice is that there's a couple of empty fields here that we'll just need to source some API keys for. So in order to activate this plugin, we're just going to need to create a recapture account. And then we will connect the API keys from it to the relevant fields here. And in order to create a recapture account, we'll just need to head over to a Google developer portal. Now I'll be sure to include a link to this in the description of this video. But if you just like the URL now, it's google.com forward slash recapture forward slash admin forward slash create. And this is going to allow us to create a new recapture form. And in order to create a form, you're just going to need a valid Google account. So I'm currently just logged in as my personal Gmail account. But once we've logged into our Google account, we can start creating our recapture form here. So for the label, I'm just going to call this the name of the project that I'm working on. So in your case, this is most likely going to be the name of your application. I'm just going to call this building with bubble test application. And then below this, I can choose which style of recapture form I would like to use. In my case, I personally actually prefer the V2 recapture form, which if I just select this, you'll see the list of options that are available under this form type. For our tutorial today, I'm just gonna be selecting the I'm not a robot checkbox. So this is pretty self-explanatory. This is just a checkbox that just ensures that a user actually validates it to ensure that they're not a robot. So I'm just gonna leave my selection at that. And then if I scroll on down, one of the last things I'll need to do is just verify which domain this form will be active on. And that's going to be just the URL of my Bubble application. So if I jump back over to my Bubble editor, I'm going to just preview any page in my application. It doesn't matter what page it is. And I'm just going to copy this URL here. I can then close this tab. I'll jump back into my Google developer portal and I'm just going to paste in that domain. One thing I would just like to point out though is that if you hover over this information icon, it just explains that you'll only be required to add in the root domain itself. So I won't need any of the pages that are attached to this domain. So if I was to jump back to the beginning of my domain, I can scroll on across to the first forward slash where it breaks off into a page URL string. I will then delete anything past that point. And then I'm also just going to remove the HTTP verification as well on my domain. So now this is just the name of my bubble application, which in my case is called database example tutorial .bubbleapps.io. And one thing I will point out is that this is actually the domain of our bubble development environment. So if you were to later on publish your application on a custom domain, the domain itself is obviously going to be different. So by that point, you're going to actually have to create another recapture form and you'll need to validate the custom domain that you have on your application. For the time being though, we're just going to need the development domain here. 
So I'm just going to leave that in. And then the very last thing I'll need to do is just choose to accept the recapture terms of service. And then I can move my head out of the way and choose to submit this new project. And once this project has been submitted, what you'll see is we will now have two separate API keys here. One will be our site key and the other will be our secret key. And now between these two keys, what we'll just need to do is copy and paste these over into the settings of our plugin. So I'm going to start by copying across my site key. If I jump back into my bubble editor, I will head to the site key development tab here and I will paste that into the form field. And as you can see below, I'm just going to also need to copy across the secret key for my development project. So if I jump back into recapture, I can copy across my secret key and then I will just paste this into the field. And that is all I will need to copy across. Later on throughout your build, once you've published your application on a custom domain and you've created some separate recapture API keys, you just need to paste those within the live environment fields here. But for the sake of our tutorial today, I'm just using the development keys here, so I'm happy with those. Now we can jump over into our design tab and actually add the recapture form onto our page. So in order to do that, I'm first going to just move our registration button down. I'm then going to scroll all the way down to my input forms menu here. And what you'll see is we now have an option to add in a recapture form. I'm just going to add that anywhere on my page. And now you'll also see that you have a couple of different configurations that you can update here. So you can make it a dark mode. You can update the size to be compact or just a normal size. I'm just going to set this back to light mode for the time being. And I'm also just going to center that horizontally there within my page. And now what I'd like to do is just create an experience that only allows a user to register an account once they've actually checked our recapture form here. And the way I can do that is by selecting to add a condition onto our button. So essentially as it stands, this button can be clicked and it will run a workflow to register a new user's account. But what I want to do is add a condition that only allows this button to be clicked when the recapture form is actually verified. So I'm going to head over to my conditional tab here and I'm just going to define a new condition that recognizes if the recapture form isn't checked. I'm going to select that this element isn't clickable and I will tick that that should be true. So that just means that as long as our checkbox in the recapture form is not ticked, a user will not be able to click this registration button and run that registration workflow. So that just verifies that the user who's registering an account will in fact be a human. And that's all we need to do in terms of configuring our recapture form. One thing I would just like to note though is that if you'd ever like to restrict any workflows based on the recapture validation, you can of course add conditions onto your workflow steps, much the same as what we had created onto our button condition here. It's actually pretty straightforward. But now let's jump over into our preview of the application so I can just show you a quick example of how this whole process functions. Over on my registration page, I just added in some details of a fake account that I'm going to register. As you can see, if I was to hover over this button while our recapture form has not yet been verified, I'm unable to actually click this button to run our registration workflow. But if I was to now select our recapture form and that is to validate, I will now have the option to click this button and our registration workflow will run. And now you can see we've been redirected through to a settings page, which was just an additional step that I added into my registration workflow. And just like that, we've finished integrating a recapture form into our own bubble application. And that's all that I wanted to cover throughout this tutorial. Of course, if you'd like to stay in touch with any other tutorials or guides that I release, I'd recommend hitting the subscribe button below. Until next time though, I wish you all of the best on your own no-code journey.